Alright, so we're in the hub world for World 2, and we're about to do some more heavy tricks and sequence breaks. Now, as soon as you load your game to load warp to the middle here, or if you map warped if you got roll, you'd be sent right into this part where you got a cutscene immediately, so you have to just load your game again, just to skip this. Now these flashlight guards, if you notice here, I got really close to them and you didn't notice me. All the guards that have like flashlights that like shine on the ground, like this one or the ones in the swamp or the um, the squids in the first world that spit snot at you, like all of them. If you're in midair before they like, uh, b like their lights only see you when you're on the ground. So like if you cross their like into their light wall in midair, they won't see you until you land and are inside their light. So what you want to do is just get to the edge of those lights and then jump over to them and kill them. Now this is probably one of the worst tricks in the run. And it's very random and it can either happen instantly or take a very long time. And it's pretty much a catapult at this point using this section right here. And what it does is it's going to let us skip entering all these levels around here and getting the keys to unlock this. And then we're going to skip the rest of the keys in this world, but the problem with this trick, I can't enter my Banaki Kong unit because Mugshot's talking, but uh, the problem with this catapult is it has a ton of, like it has like five different results you can get from it in terms of height. Well, technically four and then one alternative way which is you can actually clip through this floor and get below the level which does not help at all. If for, you pretty much are forced to reload your game and then give this another try. But otherwise you can get sent this high, this high, oh, I need to back up a little, this high to grab like the edge of this roof, a little bit higher above it which is also doable, but it's very hard and rare to get. It doesn't happen often. Or you can get sent so high up that um, you die, actually, because it thinks you're over like a bottomless pit because of how high up you are. Now, the reason that roll, getting a roll is easier is because pretty much with this trick, if you get the height that goes up here or there, or like the in-between that's above this, be like between grabbing this roof and going too high, you can still do this skip without having to worry. While if you're doing rollless route, pretty much your only option is to get onto that edge of the roof. And it's a lot harder to get that height. Now the way my strap for doing this that I've found works for me is pretty much like you see this corner here. I pretty much jump into it so that I'm facing this corner, like I'm lined up with the corner. A little bit, like it's kind of in between that and facing directly in the wall. And pretty much when I jump in this corner, I do an air attack to like stall my falling, so I'm like in that corner for a longer time. And when I do that, I kind of slide the stick from up to upright, so like towards this corner over here. And pretty much... Oh, I didn't do it right that time, but I almost got the height. Now, if you got roll, as you can see there's an invisible floor here, you can fall into this little pocket down here. And when you use roll, you can actually clip through this glass and then go inside. But having roll is the only way to be able to clip through that. You can't clip through it with dive attack or with anything else as far as I know. So that's why people why why it's I mean it's a lot slower, but it's a lot easier to get roll because of this trick pretty much. It's the only real reason besides the random times where you can just get more speed with roll, but it's the only time it's really required for something. And you don't even have to like use this method, you could use like other strats and get the trick pretty easily. Otherwise though, if you're doing rollless, you want to get onto this rooftop. From here, you want to jump I don't really have the time to pull out the Minaki Kong because I'm going to slip otherwise. You want to jump onto that slanted section of the roof there that's like a little bit lighter colored. 
And this can be a little bit awkward because of the camera. Like I failed it there. But... Let's do the other way. There we go. From here you want to go down to here. And as you can see we're now out of bounds. And <laughs> the inside of the casino is actually in front of me but it's not show visible yet. Like from this corner right here, like you kind of see how it changes angle. I change my camera, you can see. I want to pretty much walk down over here and then jump over here because this, even though it's not visible, it's still here. But here's the inside of the casino now. Here's more invisible wall to jump over here. Now, if you got roll, what you'd want to do is go up the stairs. Do not, there should be two of these guys. There's this guy and then there's one I can't really see him but there's another one higher up. You do not want to kill this higher up one because for some reason in this game like certain triggers they become bigger if you kill certain enemies and like if you kill the guy that's higher up on these stairs then the trigger for a cutscene right here becomes like a lot bigger and it pretty makes it pretty much makes this other skip that we're about to do impossible. But yeah, you can kill this first guy and then just ignore the other one and climb up this rope. Go across here, go over there, and we'll be meeting down in this corner. Otherwise, if you didn't get roll, we're just gonna walk out of bounds to it. If you see down there just jump into the corner along this edge oh. and then you want to get into this corner and this will be our standing spot for when we do another mega jump and what we're going to be doing is keeping our ground location right here in the corner and from there we're going to go from this ledge to the ledge here behind the couch now if you killed this guy, the trigger for the cutscene right here is going to be like, it's going to cover all of this. Which means if you killed him and you did this, you'd land right here. And as soon as you landed, Sly would pull out his Binaki common, the cutscene would start. You'd slide into the water and lose your horseshoe. And your mega jump, because you landed. <laughs> so it pretty much screws it all over. But yeah, from here... You just want to go to this edge. And you see the mustache here? You want to go behind it. And then just allow yourself to just fall. And it'll send you through the head into the loading zone. And it pretty much skips all the levels and getting all the keys. But yeah, that's the second world. Next up, I'll be covering how to fight this guy. He's a giant pain. So, that'll be fun to teach. But yeah, until next time, see you later.